ear. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you guys can see the rock. I'm gonna just do a little painting tonight. Hello, hello, if you guys are watching. I am just setting up my painting session here. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, just gonna have a little Saturday night paint time. My husband is watching UFC, the kids are down for now, but hopefully my son sleeps um, pretty good right now so that I can have like a good sit down. Um, hi Wanda, hi Gretel. Oh my God, Michigan, Jesus, pretty nice. Oh, thank you, I actually just did my nails yesterday, but I already got paint on them from earlier. <laughs> hi Kimberly. Um, okay, so today I asked on the post that I made um, what I should paint, and Vanessa actually suggested either a nutcracker or a nutcracker. <laughs> so I have um, two pictures actually. So I have this picture, and then I have this picture. So this one we'll call the blue one, um, and this one the green one. What do you guys think I should do? Blue or green? Kind of leaning a little bit more towards the green just because... Um, I don't know. I think it's prettier. Let me know what you guys think. Hold on while I try to get my life together here. So, painting um, 101 with Diana. I gotta have the essentials, the water. I um, have my paint palette here. I have my paints over here. I keep them off to this side because they just get in the way if not. Um, today, I'm going to be painting with the infamous... <laughs> Uh, Arteza sale that just went on that um, I kind of tried to promote because I love these paints, the gouaches. Um, they are awesome. Hold on, people are voting. I got blue, green, blue, and blue. Ooh. Let's see. Let's give it a little bit, a little bit more. If you guys are just joining in, I'm trying to get my life together. So we got blue and hello. Where is the green? Blue and green. Let me know. So far, blue is winning on the votes. Uh, just going to do a little paint paint session tonight. And just relaxing. Let me know what you guys are doing um, tonight. Has everybody eaten dinner yet? Did you have some coffee today? Maybe a little shot of eggnog. Um, I'm going to grab my paint. Blue with the fancy hat from the green one. Let me see the hat. Oh, I do like that, actually. I guess I could do that, yeah, with some gold and some blue. Okay, so it's looking like the blue is going to win here. So let me get my blue colors. And what else? Actually, I'm also, I don't, I don't usually like to mix the paints, like the type of paints that I'm doing. Like if I'm doing just acrylic, I'll usually just use acrylic or whatever. But I'm um, going to pull this little number out for this skin tone because it's like a peachy and I don't like this this peach for skin tone. Oh my god. What did I drop? I dropped the brown. Ugh. Okay. Do the one that you want to do. Sandy, you're my new best friend. <laughs> Let's see. I've honestly, I did the green one last year, so let's do the blue so that um, I can have a little bit of variety in my life. I'm super excited because I did find this tablet for my move, so I have picture references so I can go live more often. Sorry, Shelly, I'm going to be taking over the page and uh, painting every Saturday night with guys and gals over here. Okay, so if you guys are just joining... This is the one that we're going to end up doing today. And um, I guess not really like a tutorial mode. Um, but if you guys just want to watch and just chit chat with me while I sit here talking to myself in my kitchen. Um, we are going to be having a paint tonight. You can paint along with me if you want. If you don't want to, that's cool too. If you want to just watch, ask questions, anything that I can 
help to teach. Um, I know that a lot of people had ordered these. I don't know what the final verdict was, if you guys ended up liking them or not. I personally absolutely love these. They are my favorites. I got this super long, um, like, thin looking Santorini to paint on. And we're just going to kind of go with the wind. So gonna kind of outline this is how I start my little process outline where the hat goes and then where it ends and then I'm gonna do the base and what I'm doing right now is I paint in all sorts of crazy ways sometimes I'll trace sometimes I'll just paint straight um like I'll start where you know what I mean like I'll sketch out my little whatever I'm trying to figure out if I should rule this so that I can show you guys that method too When I need my ruler, it's not here. Just so that I can kind of straighten myself because the rock is a little bit like off centered. So I'm gonna just try to give myself a little guide. Okay, so I didn't like where I was going too low with that. So the ruffles are gonna be here. Actually, no, we said we were gonna do the fancy hat from the other one, huh? Okay. Sorry, <laughs> my, my life is going to be all over the place. So if you guys are here watching, then I commend you. This is going to be the bottom of the hat, the top of the face, bottom of the face, give them a little bit of a wider. And then we're going to do body, belt, bottom of the skirt. I'm looking at the wrong picture again. Confusing, but that's okay. That one doesn't have a skirt. This one has like a little drum going on. And then just the legs. And then I'm going to see how far this way I want to do it. Sorry if I'm like super out of breath. Again, I'm going to draw another line just for my little guide. What is Diana doing here? She is just trying to make sure that she's drawing this on straight. And I, um, I section off the parts of where I'm going to start to sketch. So I will do like the top of the hat. That's the first line. It's just, I don't know, different ways, different ways to do things. So we're going to do the fancy hat from this green one. We're going to just start, kind of sketch it, super light sketch, and then the bottom. I have not been watching the comments. I don't know if you guys are leaving anything, asking any questions. I'm kind of round it off, and then we can go back in and fix it with some gold. And some black. And then we're going to do this little fat portion up here. A little ball. And then I'm going to do the face. is a little bit from inside of the hat. This is going to be where the hair comes out. You guys are going to get like the full Diana <laughs> from beginning to end. Hopefully if my scent doesn't get all crazy. Hi Shay, let me know if you guys are, can hear me. I have my music on, but not too like crazy. Oh my God, I'm doing it again. I'm doing the wrong picture. <laughs> you see, Jesus is telling me to do the, the green one. There we go. This is gonna be his little body. This is the bottom of his mouth. So this is the where the gold is gonna come. Draw that down. Gonna erase my center point line because I sort of know where my nutcracker is going off, what direction it's going off in. And then here's the little black belt. And we're gonna do a little skirt, puff it out a little bit more. Give him a little bit of hips. Pop it off. And then just kind of come down with the legs. So there's my little body. And then the arms. Come down here. Kind of take them out a little bit more. And down. So I think that today is Saturday. 
my days all seem like a blur lately everything's going by so fast like oh my god i can't believe it's already december okay and then this one has like a little drum here just do a quick sketch i'm not a very good sketcher i'm usually like um heavy on the paint and then we're gonna just draw a line down the center if you're watching and you want to sketch along paint along feel free to kind of sort of follow me i guess um this is the center of the face i'm gonna put the little nose and then the bottom of the teeth are gonna go down here And then the beard this way, black in the back. And we're gonna put a little mustache on this nutcracker. He's very sophisticated. He's a fancy one. That's straight, sort of. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this nose longer actually. Big nose. The eyes straight across, and they kind of just droop down. Almost done with like a little preemptive sketch, so that we can get started on the best part. Ta da! Okay, so the colors on this one are like um sort of like a real true blue and some dark navies in there so let's start with that yeah so um if i go quiet during the live it's probably because i'm just concentrating i have my little music here in the background but i don't want facebook to block me <laughs> from playing it because it has music and it's um like my mexican music so you guys probably won't know who's singing I don't even know who's singing half the time. Gonna get some, I should probably give you guys colors too. I have titanium white and then I'm also using these two blues out of that package. And I'm gonna kind of give like a little rundown on these. So if you missed my, um, I guess like a product review on it, it they're very, very much like highly pigmented watercolor is the best way that I can describe them. They are super easy to work with, super easy to flow with, and um, they've become my favorite thing to paint with. So this I'm gonna do, oh, where's my black? Where's my black? And if I lose my train of thought, I am sorry. I am lacking on sleep. I got a new, uh, and if you guys have any of these tools and you have like a blocked up <laughs> paint thingy, these work like magic to unclog them. I got a new coffee maker today and um, it's one of those K, K minis with like little K cups. I'm drinking some bougie coffee now and um, it is very good. I had never had any type of like super fancy coffee like that other than Starbucks. Why is my hair here? Okay, I'm like nervous. I don't know why I'm like so nervous tonight. Um, Let's start with some gold. Where is my gold? So this gold also, I'm sorry if I go off in a million different directions trying to explain what I'm doing. Um, if you have not gotten this gold, it is fantastic, amazing, beautiful, and I highly recommend it. I'm going to go in with, let me test this blue first. What color was this blue? Like a dark navy. So if you don't have a blue that's dark enough, you can always put just a little teeny tiny bit of black in it. So this is literally the amount that I have. It's just a little, um, like what, what size is this? Just like a little gumdrop um, amount. And the more water that you add, the lighter that it'll be. Obviously, if you just pick it up and you paint with it dark, there it is dark. But if you add more water, it kind of lightens up the color a little bit. They're very, very um, easy to blend with, and they are super good with... Oh, that's too light. I need some black. 
they're super um like re i guess like reactivable re they reactivate <laughs> there you go they reactivate with water so you guys if you make a mistake on your painting it's easy to go back and fix it sort of I know the gold is beautiful. Hi, Jennifer. So we're just um, doing a, a, I guess, like a watch Diana paint type of night. If you want to paint along, please feel free to do so. I would love it if you guys did. Um, just grabbing like a dark navy blue and kind of just... Um, Painting. I love to watch like those time lapse painting videos on like TikTok or Instagram. I think I learn a lot of techniques from like the painters on there. So even if all I do is sit here and quietly paint, I hope that you guys pick up something. Maybe. commercial in the back. Raise the volume. So we're just painting along. And we're doing the stripes on his little crown. Okay. So there is that. And then I'm gonna also uh, do the little black Oops, I didn't shut that off. This is like an Android. This is this um tablet is like from 2016, so I haven't really um updated it. It's like an Android, and all of my stuff is like Apple now. Um, I'm gonna. This is the hat that we're doing on this body. So why is that so zoomed in? I'm working on the hat right now. So you keep clicking this little button on the side. Okay, this is a little bit uneven, but I'll fix it. It's super dry. So yeah, did anybody do anything exciting today? Any adventures? Anybody? There was like a parade. Um downtown locally to me that I did not go to. I didn't make this so low. But it sounded like fun. Is there any parades going on where you guys live? Let me know. And this is um, Maluma in the background, so it's kind of just for background noise, honestly. I don't feel so weird painting here. So yeah, this is, um, I'm just adding water to it to make it more sparse. Like I'm literally going with just like the little tip of it filled with color and look at how pigmented that just comes out. Arch it here at the top. Yeah, if you guys try this out, tag me, let me know. I, I seriously love when um when I see that people do go outside of like their comfort zone and they try it. Tag me. I love seeing everybody's progress, the way that different people do different things, different shadings, outlining styles, uh different like views of the way that color works and it just makes me super happy when I see people doing not just my tutorials, but like any anybody else's tutorials. It's a learning moment. I think that because I am like at an angle, this looks off. Let's bring it down. Um, hi, Kathy. Uh, this brush is honestly... I don't have like a specific 
I guess, like, brush that I prefer to use. But this one is super skinny. It's a number three from Crafter's Choice. I got this. It's It comes in, like, a pack um, of several brushes. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They're really, really good brushes. Um, these are detailing brushes that I get off of Amazon. They're, like, I think $6.99 for 100 of them. And they're awesome. They come in, like, a little... I already took them out of the baggie that they originally came in, but this is how they come. They're super cool. Just take the little plastic off and you're good to go. They are my favorite detailing brushes. But for now, um, this is actually a really good detailing brush too, honestly, except that the bottom is becoming frayed because I have a really bad habit of leaving it in water. <laughs> so the water starts to like uh, wear away at the tip. Um, put up my outside Christmas lights. Ooh, we actually just put up our Christmas lights, and apparently we have like, um, what is the what is that who that who lady who like had that gun that was like firing at the at the neighbor's house? Do you guys uh you know which one I'm talking about? Is it Martha May? Martha May on Whoville on the Grinch. Um, she has like that big gun, and it's like just shooting lights straight up at the roof that's who, apparently who we have as a neighbor because her lights are like oh my god they make our our little uh bush lights look very very non-holiday we look like the grinch compared to her martha may who um let me see okay and then i'm gonna grab a little bit of white I just wipe it off. I think that's like the key to blending is not only water, but wiping off like so that you don't have excess on the brush. And then you can kind of just blend. Martha May, there you go. Yeah, that is who I have as a neighbor. Her, she has like a candy cane well granted this is like our first um i guess like our first christmas since being back on the mainland because you know we were stationed in hawaii for three years and so it like doesn't snow it doesn't feel like christmas a lot over there and so we never really decorated the outside of our home until last year so i never you know stocked up on lights or anything like that and this year we bought our house and it's just like lacking in christmas cheer so <laughs> i'm gonna hit up all the stores on december 26 early in the morning to get all that clearance out there we go and then i'm going to go in with the gold seriously i love this gold actually no i'm gonna paint first with this like golden um yellow ochre i feel like bob ross every time i say fancy paint names like that Hopefully I washed my brush off right. I'm gonna paint it first so that it has like a stall uh, a solid a solid color on the bottom. My voice gets all raspy at the end of the day. It's like from talking too much. I sound Hawaiian. Aw, I wish, I honestly wish that I was. I'm 100% Mexican from born at, well, born and raised in Texas, El Paso, Texas. But if Hawaii would take me and never let me go, that's where I would live out the rest of my days on earth. I loved it there. I would go back in a heartbeat. It's honestly probably because I'm nasally right now. It's very different here in Colorado. Like over there in Hawaii, I have the humidity and I had the, you know, like the constant moisture in the air. And ever since moving to Colorado, like I get all nasally and like my sinuses, like I used to have really bad allergies when I, um, in my home state in Texas. 
And then I moved to Hawaii and I never had allergies. And now they're back. They're seasonal and it's super dry here. And it wants to be super hot one day and then super cold to the next. So not the funnest. It's like living in the real world now. I'm not super spoiled with the weather over there. Um, where is my other brown? Do you guys see it? Am I blind? No. Hmm. Am I going crazy? I just had it. This is the second time that I have lost something that was literally right in front of my eyes, so... Okay, I'm just gonna come back and look for it. So I'm gonna use this color for right now. This burnt umber. To kind of shade this a little bit. It's not closing. Oh, look at you, Sandy. Stationed there in the 80s. I bet it was, what a time to be alive, man. My mom, um, like I grew up listening to all of the 80s and she made me watch all like the good movies. And so now like I have to continue that tradition with my kids. Oh my God, I really hate this music. Let me switch. Bad bunny. <laughs> I don't ever understand what he's saying. And I'm just shading <clears throat> before I put the gold on. I'm gonna grab a little bit of black, a little bit of brown. And I kind of um give a little start to give a little shape to the crown. I have a lot of uh, water on my brush. I love painting with water. It's the best way to shade for me. Um, it's the best way to give my pictures, like, I guess, control over how dark it is. Because once you go in with, like, super thick paint and you start to paint over it, it just it starts to look all bulky and you can't really, like, shade as much or blend as much. And it, even with regular acrylics, like if you go in with water, it's just so much easier to add color than to try to remove it, if that makes sense. So I always have painted very watery, very um, lightly. And then just layering. Layering whatever it is that you need to layer. Oh my god. I'm not feeling this music tonight. Let me see. Hold on. Everybody pause. I'm going to try to put a little something more. Oh, maybe some Christmas music on Pandora. Some Michael Buble. Christmas radio. Okay. Here we go. Gotta get in the mood. Are you guys ready for Christmas? I am like not, I don't think mentally prepared at the fact that the year is almost over. <laughs> okay. And if you guys miss it, if you get bored, if you wanna leave, um, I'm gonna save it to the page so that you guys can go back and watch later. I'm outlining the little knobs that are going to go on the top. And then fill in with this yellow ochre. There we go. Okay, and then... With that pretty gold, I'm telling y'all about. Then I'm gonna also shade here. And shade here. I feel like that's very light shading. 
Yeah, if I have to, um, like, super abruptly, abruptly, I can't even talk. Super abruptly stop is probably because my son started crying or something and I need to go. But hopefully that's not the case. This gold is life, you guys. I want to use it on every single painting. It doesn't always go with any of, with, with all of my paintings, but I try to use it for like 90% of them. It's just so pretty. And I am a super messy painter. You'll notice I don't really stick to like the um the lining. Oh yeah. Can you guys see that? <clears throat> Let's look at how pretty that is. Okay. Oh my god, I got like teal on my brush. Okay. <clears throat> what is pah Pahinui? Did I say that right? Is that um like a certain type of music or an artist? Let me know. A ceramic tree. Is it those little ones with the little cute um colorful light bulbs at the end? Because I saw one of those at Target and I was so tempted to buy it, but you know, I had to contain myself. I had to show a little bit of restraint. Here we are going in with this light mocha. If it wants to come out of the tube. So since I'm gonna use um regular acrylic for the face, I'm gonna use um regular acrylic to blend with the white. Okay. Sorry, my mouth gets a little bit dry. I'm going a little bit more. Sure, it's going. And this is uh, the brown uh, watered down a little bit so that it shades a little bit more. Gabby Panini was well known for his voice. Hmm, I did not know that. I learned something new today. You know, Jennifer, you could probably get a lot of that, um, get a lot of money for that if you ever decide, decided to sell it because of like, the, it's like coming back, I guess, like that style of tree, of ceramic tree. All I did was mix a little bit of white. I'm kind of taking out, I forgot to erase the, the lines up here. So I'm just taking it out with some water, obviously. You just scrub it a little bit with the brush and ta-da. It looks a little bit like um, the Monopoly guy. The little mustache. Now that I'm done with this guy's hat, come over here and take a look at him. So his eyebrows are like super thick, super jealous of his eyebrows. And then we're gonna go in with some black for his eyebrows. All eight. <laughs> I'm already doing it. No, I'm already explaining. Okay. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, Kitty. I honestly like probably should have told somebody, but I was like, man, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. Just gonna jump on, and we're gonna do it. But I haven't gotten in too far, so. Katie, my girl, my main girl, you can uh, paint along with me. 
we just did the hat and showed them how to like semi sketch this even though i'm not very good at sketching passed away a few years ago the music is awesome if you like Hawaiian music i do i think it's so romantic it's so beautiful okay that eyebrow is not not dark enough okay and then his nose oops i forgot to skin tone his nose here very sir Yeah, it's Saturday night, which means that <laughs> it's UFC night, which means that my husband is zoned out on that. That's like his thing. UFC. Doing some titanium white on the eyes. I'll try to blend it as far into the pencil line as I can. And then this is where I will try to even out the eyes. That's the beautiful thing about sketches is that they don't always have to stay. You're just there for a guide. Okay. Eyes are filled in. I really hate that this is so dark. There we go. Working on a rock for Shelly. What? Uh, what brand of gold paint is it? It is the Deco Art um, Extreme Sheen. It is the most gorgeous gold that I've ever used in my life. I love it. And it's so pretty. Like, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it is stunning. Okay. Next, we gotta outline the eye. Where's my little? Oh my god, I would literally lose my head if it was not attached to my body. That mom brain is like so real this time around. I literally, I was at the grocery store and I was an aisle down from the dishwashing pods, and I was like, okay, dishwashing pods, Diana, don't forget, don't forget. <laughs> I walked right by them and I came home and I forgot. Like two seconds later, it's insane how much this baby has like slowed my brain down. After three kids, I'm like, I need coffee in the morning to survive. So the eye line is kind of super thick at the top. Whoa, that is way too thick. Okay, hold on. Emergency. Remove. Oh my god, that just made it worse. Hold on. Operation save this eye. <laughs> Grab a little bit of napkin here. And just squeegee up the paint. There's too much water, I like blobbed it down. It's okay, it's fixable. <laughs> Paint over it. Okay. Anyway, the um, line up at the top is super thick, and then the rest of it is going to just be like a super thin, thin outline. This is so festive. You see, I'm usually like, my nose is usually like an inch away from my painting, so being so far away from it right now is a little bit weird for me. I'm trying to like duck under the camera so that I can see. Okay. And then. There's a mustache. Oh 
Okay. Yeah, so just put me on in the background. Go get you some, some like Doritos, some snacks. That reminds me, I gotta move our elf on the shelf tonight. Tomorrow, our elf is going to get into some marshmallows and hot chocolate. Because I found the cutest little cocoa melon cups um, in the dollar spot at Target. So my kids are going to get some of those tomorrow. Some hot chocolate. Get in the spirit. And then here, the nose has a little bit of shading towards the top. Kind of like a little shadow. I'm going to draw the line and then kind of just grab the paint that I already got and bring it down a little bit. Wipe the brush off and then just use the water to blend it down. Very, very lightly. And then I'm going to outline the back here with the nose. And then outline. This. And then it has like some shadow back here. I still have way too much black on the brush, so I'm going to wipe it off. And then just use the excess and break it down. Create a no shadow. Use a little bit of water. See how much that little fine-tipped um, bit of paint, how far that went for us. I say us, like we're, like we're all painting. How far it went for me um, to shade out here. And then we're going to do a little diagonal here. And kind of give him a little block at the bottom. And this is for sure going to be dark. I'll try to blend that line out. Um, it's just a lot of patience. And then I'm going to bring this down. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a little bit of white and go here to kind of um, Give it some lighting over here that's creating the shadow on this side. And then I'm also um, going to add a little bit of... Okay, so let me also go in here and talk about color. So if you guys see this... Um, hello? Hold on. Everybody relax. I'm trying to zoom in. Okay. <laughs> So this like little area on his nose is like um a peachy brown color. So I'm going to show you guys how I get to that conclusion or I get to that final color. So I have that light mocha, which is this um, skin tone colored. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water, get it ready for blending. I'm going to add like a little tiny like pinpoint of brown just to darken it up just a teeny tiny bit. And then I'm going to also add some orange, if I can find it. Where is my orange? Would lose my head if it was not attached to my body. Wait, did this pack even come with orange or was it the... This one didn't come with orange. I'm going to go get my other paints. I'm just going to use these. Okay. <laughs> So this is actually mis mixing acrylic with gouaches, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of, no, I'm using acrylic on both, never mind, scratch that. Diana doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm going to unplug this. Okay. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by my lack of paint. I'm going to grab a little smidge of orange and then kind of blend it in. That's way too... See, this paint is super pigmented. Um, just kind of mix it in until you get that, like, orangey color. And we're going to also kind of use it again for the um, cheeks. So I'm going to just shade it a little bit down here. 
It's still a little bit too orange, so I'm just gonna keep patting it in until the rock soaks up the water that was left there. And then going with a little bit of peach up at the top, on, like on top of it. Okay, moving on. Mm. Gotta do the eyes first. I'm gonna grab a little, little tiny bit of black. Um, it's already watered down. I'm gonna shade up here. Just wipe off the excess. And see how that water is activating my white up again? Um, because my brush is wet. Actually, there's still orange on this brush. Ugh. It's just gonna drag some of that black paint down. Just blend it out so that it doesn't have no harsh lines. I really, really enjoy painting with these. If I haven't said enough tonight. And shade the my corner rounded eyes. Okay, so we got some shading on the eye. We're gonna drop drop down the little circle for the let's do it. No. Circle for the iris of the eye. Okay, and then his eyes are like a super baby blue. I do have this, um, like, uh, what is this? I guess it's the same. It's metallic. It's just, it doesn't feel as glittery as the gold. It's the same brand, the Deco Art, the Sheen. And then, let me pour some out. Bit of wants to come out. I'm gonna use this for his eyes because he's got like these beautiful sparkly baby blue eyes. Um, yeah, for a lot of my winter and Christmas paintings, I've been using a lot of iridescence and glitters, and I feel like they just um make the paintings that much more magical. Hey Rebecca! So glad you guys are here. I'm just doing um a little painting, like a little paint along, just to watch. Not really like tutorial mode, but if you guys want to do it, that's cool too. It's just more so that you guys can kind of um learn any type of shading techniques that you might pick up if you want to. If not, that's cool. I am watering down some of that mocha, and I'm just kind of shading some parts of his face. I'm going to grab a little bit of black with it, just a little bit. And I'm going to create the shadow that the uh, drumstick is going to cause on his face. It's not even straight, Diana. Put together. Ooh, you see how easy it was to mold that using these paints? Okay, let me get a drink of tea. Yes, I I honestly absolutely cannot stand paint pens. I will only use them if I'm doing like a I get up to stretch. I'll only use them if I'm doing like a quick hiding rock or something that doesn't require a lot of Blending and shading because I just I cannot stand paint pens. I don't know why they don't agree with me. I don't know how I could not tell you for the life of me how to shade with them. Flavor tea. Um, coconut tea. A little, a little cup. <laughs> so I get um coconut extract from the grocery store, and then when the tea is brewing, I just put a couple drops in there, and it's so so good. Coconut sweet tea. 
and then I'm gonna get a little bit of so this is the color that I'm grabbing from it's already dried up as you can see but the water um, still reactivates the color so these are super awesome on paint saving and then I'm just gonna kind of dot in his blush nothing too heavy just lightly tap it in give him some rosy cheeks give him like a little rosy above the above the lip area I made his face too long honestly but that's okay and then I'm gonna do a dark red that red is too bright let's see we're gonna use crimson red I really, really hate how raspy my voice gets at the end of the day. I sound all like a man. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of the red with some brown. And we're gonna make his um, mouth here. This is still a little bit wet, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna add too much there up top because it's gonna bleed it out. Lights. I'm gonna add less water. Battery. What? Somebody panic. I'm about to go get a portable charger. Hold on. Pause. Is my cord. <laughs> cord. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Nobody panic. I've got my big old portable charger. If you guys ever need portable charger recommendations, ta! <laughs> got this one off of Target, I think. Okay. Is it charging? Yes. Am I drawing on a blame? Yes, this is an old burp rag, actually. <laughs> and I tore it up. I cut it up into, um, like, pieces and look at how nasty they get. They're all full of paint. Blah, paint. Okay. Good night. Have a good one, girl. Okay, so... Just adding some brown to blend into it to make it a little bit darker. And then down here, his mouth is going to be just a little bit off to the side. Oh my god, I went too far down. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the top with the eyes and put the little black dots here. I went out too far. It's okay. Go back in with blue. Okay. Can you guys see the blue kind of? Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to also start to outline like the sides of his face i'm gonna go with a little bit of black and then kind of just shade it out And this one, I don't know, man, his hair's a little 
a little cray cray in the picture. He's like feathered out. I don't really know if I want to do the ugly hair on him. I might do it from the. I might do the hair from the other picture first. And just mix and match. On this nutcracker, because <laughs> there's certain parts of him I don't like. Um, what else? And then we're gonna shade down here, up at his hairline a little bit, and just keep working at his um his face. Oh my god, that soaked up too much back. And a little bit of black up here. And just very lightly bring it down. Just taking it out of the eyebrow. His luscious eyebrows. And then um, a trick that I recently started doing, and I don't know how I did it, but was using a dry brush to to smooth out harsh lines. But it usually, honestly, only works with acrylic paint. Not with these. These set so fast with water. Okay. <clears throat> Some more tea. Okay. Um, and then he has a little bit of like shine underneath his his eye and over here as well actually this like entire side of his face is a little bit shaded so i'm gonna go with the black and the light mocha and i'm gonna blend those two and i'm just gonna shade the side of his face Here and here. Yeah, it takes a little bit, honestly, to try to like get the the feel for these gouache paints because they um it is like a I guess like a technique that you gotta kind of like figure out what works for you, like how heavy you want to do your hand in it, how much water you want to add, so that they don't get too too crazy. Okay, so that part of the face is shaded. Hey, Melissa, John out for a week, so I haven't got around to painting it. Girl, join the club. I am. I have like a list of ideas that I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to by Christmas time. Like all these Christmas paintings that I wanted to do, and I just haven't had the chance to, man. Why? Because life. <laughs> It's just been so busy over here. The tooth is probably too thick. That's okay. His little mouth is so creepy. The Carker mouths are creepy. I said it. I said what I said. I'm bringing that mouth out. It's way too wet over here. I'm going to wait for this to dry up a little bit more. I'm just impatient. Okay. Is there a traceable for this? Um I don't I don't think so. I'm honestly not sure. I freehand sketched it right now. But if you're just joining in Heather, I am um, I'm gonna put the playback on the on the page so that you can go back and watch um kind of how I lined it up to trace it. Or sketch. I keep saying trace and it's like the right word is sketch. My mind is scrambled. So um, I just used a ruler and kind of set off markers as to how to um, like proportion it. 
And um, yeah, so once the playback is up, just go back and watch the beginning of the video. And that's where I show how to draw it from scratch. And then right now we're kind of just building on the layers and outlining and stuff. And then, this is gonna, and the good thing about it is that it's, since it's going to be on the actual page already, it's already going to be there, um, easy access for, like, guides and stuff. And my voice is so raspy, man. Okay. Then this is going to be his little collar. To his little outfit. Making some progress, starting to work on that body. And then this side of his, um, cause he's kind of turned like at an angle so that the light is shining in from this direction. So this part of him is gonna be mo more shaded and darker than this side of him. That makes sense. So while this is like a really pretty golden yellow right now, we're gonna dirty it up a little bit by adding some brown. Because shading for yellow should be like a brownish color. And we're going to shade up here too. Wipe off the excess. And then just use whatever is left on the brush to bring it into your lighter color. And it's just mostly like technique that you have to pick up. Learn. I'm not a professional by any means. I know that with all my heart. I'm just a mom trying to, trying to paint. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt because I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Okay. And then around his mouth, it's going to be like diagonal here and then going down. Too much water. Okay. And then this is where his little beard is going to be. So I'm going to put some black down here at the bottom to kind of just um, use the rest of the paint that's there to kind of uh, bring the black inward so that I have a dark color in the back of the white beard. Because if you put dark colors in the back of something that's supposed to be white, like snow on a tree um white hair white fur you want to shade the back of it dark first so that it makes the white on top pop out so like if you're planning on doing like a winter scene with christmas trees um put baby blue underneath where your snow is supposed to be so that it doesn't just look like a white blob and then remember to always pat your snow in from the top there we go. Okay, what else? Here we're going to do his little, um, what is this, like a little vest? His little nutcracker vest. And we're going to do this in this super beautiful cherry looking red. And bring it straight down. And I'm going to kind of stay away from that black edge because I don't want it to bleed together. And then I'll just blend it in um, after it's dried a little bit more. Too far.
can probably hear my kids <laughs> stomping around upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this red off because red is super, super high in pigment. So it needs like a couple of rinses. Honestly, if you notice, I've been working with this brush most of the, most of the painting. Favorite, I think, yes. I'm gonna put some of that really pretty gold up here. And it still kind of keeps the color up at the bottom so that it's not too like in your face. And then what am I doing? I'm gonna go back to this eye before I forget and put the little dot. And a little bit of white over here. Honestly, I feel like I need to shade this side of his face more. In the picture, it's a lot more shaded. Like a little eraser shaving. <clears throat> if you guys end up learning anything, using it in your paintings, please let me know. So that I keep that in mind for next time. Little things that I can point out on future videos. Um, I kind of want to do like a face, a face tutorial next. Okay. And then it's just looking at all the like details of the face, like on the Nutcracker. Like he's got some shading here. He's got the shading here, he's got it up here towards the top, and it kind of just curves down. So I tried to make mine curve down as much as it could. And then, um, see how it's like super dark over here and not on mine? I need to fix that. I'm just gonna keep layering it. I don't wanna go in too heavy and then regret it. So I'm actually gonna fix these teeth. He's looking a little, a little raggedy. And his bottom teeth. My brush lost its like fine tip. So an easy way to fix that is just to grab it, roll it around until it, uh, like if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, um, roll it around on the towel, whatever you have, until it smooths back out to a fine point. That tooth is all ugly, man. Sorry, dude, you entrusted me with your, with your teeth, and I messed them up. Okay, my kid has been good so far. I think he's, like, sleeping right now. My husband would definitely text me, though, if something was up. I hope. Okay. <clears throat> so next, I'm going to bring in that red. I'm adding the red with the brown over here to make it a little bit dark. Match the um, aura that the black is giving off, giving off over here. And I can't talk. Okay, next I'm going to start working on the blue over here. And the blue over here is going to be super pretty, super bright. So 
So while that's wet, I'm going to add a little bit, um, a little tiny bit of the darker blue and black. And I'm going to rinse it off and add some white. Very lightly. Not enough white. And some right over here. And some right over here. Apart from that, I'm also gonna give this a little outline that I forgot to do. Thick, so I'm going to add some water. Okay. What else? And then I'm going to go back and use that yellow ochre over here. And I'm going to use a little bit of the darker uh, burnt umber color, super dark brown, almost looks black. And then just shade it around and add some white over here. to give it a little bit of a shine. What you do to one side, we want to do to the other. And let that dry for a little bit. Okay, and then I do have like a different, really pretty yellow. I'm gonna try to find it. It's already on my palette, but um, it's midi yellow, and I'm gonna mix that one with this. Where's, where's, I'm a mess. I'm gonna mix these two together to make this um circle here. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just dropped my brush. To make the circle up here at the front. Okay. I'm gonna add some of the same dark brown and black a little bit. This one's gonna be a lot darker than the other one because the Shade is over here, the light is over here. Honestly, even that red needs to be darker.
Just adding some dark brown lightly to it to darken it up. Oh my god, this music is so, <laughs> like, sleepy music. Christmas music, not doing it for me either today. Martina McBride. Sorry. Let's listen to some Luke Combs. Martina, girl. I'm going to sleep over here. Okay, guys. We're working through it. Like a chunk of black here. Okay, super quiet paint night tonight, guys. And this is so that anybody that wants to do a nutcracker can go back and look at this and hopefully do it as well. Man, I should have erased that. <gasps> it's too much, too much water. Okay. Okay. And then he's got his little black belt over here. Then we're gonna go back, add the gold to the top here. I'm gonna honestly water this gold down so that it still shows all the shading that we did. I just wanted to have a little bit of a shimmer. I'm just gonna tap in a little bit. Okay. I'm getting there. I keep saying that. <laughs> and then we're going to do some crisscrosses here.
Just keep doing your X's going down. Oh, this one was too, too far apart. It's okay. Then I'm gonna grab some black and then line it off here. And we're gonna kind of shadow around where the the little lines are. We're doing this on the outside of them, just so that it looks not so flat of a color. I'm just grabbing some black, lining it. And it doesn't have to like all be lined on the inside. Honestly, I just I put some here, put some there. Nothing too specific. Just wherever your heart feels like it. Honestly, if my son can sleep through the entire time that I'm painting this, I will count that as a success. So that I can have a full length from start to finish video up here. Okay. It's coming together slowly. Slowly but surely. Um, okay. And then we're going to move on to his belt. Which is also going to have a little gold buckle. And right here in the center. Make it a little bit thick. And then a little bit of white here to give it a little bit of shine. A little bit. And you can't even see that. Okay. And then the blue, I forgot to add a couple of little white lines over here just to give it a little bit more shape. And then what we're going to also do is add a little bit of white back to the mustache so that it's not just a flat color on his face. Put that down. And then I'm going to go back in with this blue. And this time I'm going to add a little bit more black to that blue because it is um, the bottom portion of the pants. And then, I don't know if you guys can see, but the... Um, the nutcracker, his hand, where his hand is, is right where the pant is. Um, and mine is a little bit higher than that. Like, the arm came out a little bit higher than that. And that's okay. It's okay if your picture does not look exactly like the reference photo. It looks like there's some purple magenta down there at the bottom. I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of black into this up here for shading. The cracker's got some wide hips. And then again, you don't ever have to just stick to your sketches. I'm seeing that this is sticking out further than where I initially drew it. I'm just going in. This uh, centurini has a tiny little blemish, but that's okay. It's still beautiful. Still very much workable. 
I'm gonna add some black. Make it dark on this side. Not too much black, because you don't want it to go um, like complete midnight over here. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of white over here to the side. Just to brighten up this side, because remember this is where your light is coming in through. Over here on this side, we're just gonna layer that white in. This blue is, um, blue and red tend to suck white in a lot when you're painting. Okay, next, I am gonna outline this, um, not outline, but kind of just bring some more gray black over here for the shadowing of the hair that we're about to do here in a moment. And then I'm going to work on this drum, which should be pretty quick. I'm going to do a black top up here. Just going to kind of reshape it other than my sketch. And then going to add this golden yellow that we've been working with. And bring it down. Let's line that top portion off. And then I'm going to use that yellow again, but without the black to make it brighter. The bottom portion of it. And then I'm going to grab some white. And put some here. And grab a little bit of dark brown. Brush in from the sides here. And then I'm going to grab my dark red color that I made using brown and red. And bring this drum down, straighten it out a little bit. My stuff did not go nowhere near the sketch that I originally did. And then the closer it gets to the right side, the darker you want to make it. And I'm gonna do that golden ochre color. And you'll fix that line, rub the color out. Even if it's blended in down here, it's okay. It's coming in through that crack. Bleeding down. That's okay. Okay. Ah, it's bleeding in through the crack. That's okay. And then I'm gonna grab some white and kind of shade the top of this little section here and the top of this section here. And gonna add a little bit of that dark brown down here to the bottom. And 
and just keep shadowing it in layering in that color so that it's not heavy remember it is easier to put color on than it is to take off okay and that is coming together mm, what else outline the bottom of it you can outline the whole drum if you want honestly with some black and a little bit of black over here on the side shadow that in and i'm gonna go back to this hand that bled earlier it was like bleeding through the blue making that green color and over here and i'm going to add some shading to the little hand In like a little backwards C. C is for cookie. And we're gonna shade. My kids are upstairs yelling at each other. And then, mm, what should I start on the? I was going to call that the fur. <laughs> this nutcracker does not have fur. Just going to grab my fine liner. Add water to this white so that it's ready to go. I don't have to keep coming back to it. And just start brushing that out. Start brushing out the, all the individual hairs. Remember which direction you're going. Obviously, if you get to the center, you're going to brush down. And then, you know, once you're on the side, you're going to brush it out. So this is just like a little mini layer of... Um, it's not like super, super white. It's not sending out to the front right now. Because it is picking up some of that bottom um, black. But we're going to go back in with a top coat, top layer. And it's just a lot of little brush strokes. They're tedious, they're a pain in the butt, but works for hair. Quick short strokes. You don't want to add too much um, because then it's going to just look like a big white blob. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of black here, which I should have done before I did the hair, honestly, but I'm going to kind of shadow in a little bit of areas here. Bring some, um, like, background forward. Does that make sense? Very tedious, but helps. Helps to build layers. And attention to detail. Okay, let me grab a quick sip. My throat's all dry. Okay. And then um, before I do his hair, because the hair um, is so, it's going to be small brush strokes like this, I'm going to want to do my background color first so that it doesn't cover the hair and going around hair just like, like I just did is just a pain in the butt. So when you when you paint your final hair on any type of background, you want to make sure that your you have your back color first and layered. So this one has like a gray silver background color. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to make it like pop out a little bit. I 
think I'm just gonna go with the gray. Just stick to the picture so that I can put the reference picture down and if you guys wanna follow it along, it's easier to follow along. Okay, I'm clogging my paints. I'm gonna actually mix this blue with some, uh, I mean this blue, with this gray with some blue. And I'm gonna use a thicker brush just so that I get it um, spread faster. Uh, just adding a little bit of blue to it. And then just gonna dip it in water one last time so that it's easy to spread. I wanna add more blue, but I don't like any of these blues. I think a baby blue. No. No, that's too much. I don't like that color. Rewind. Um, where's that sky blue? Why am I constantly looking for colors, man? I need to be more organized when I paint. Okay, I'm gonna use this sky blue. And if you guys missed the beginning, if you guys aren't just joining in or coming back, um, the playback's gonna be available on the page so that you can go back and rewatch. It's just a quiet um, paint night in, just relaxing. Not really tutorial video, just kind of um, paint along with Diana. Hi Alex, I don't know if you're still watching. Sorry, I'm not. Um, I haven't been paying attention to the comments. But oh, Michelle, that's super fun, man! Dancing in the Nutcracker—that's like the dream. That's like um, that one and Black Swan, I think, are like the most known ballets. Well, that I know. I'm super uncultured though, so. Sorry if I got that wrong. But it's pretty awesome that you danced in it. I do not have a Nutcracker collection, but I do have a friend that collects them. Jade, if you watch this video, Jade, I'm thinking of you. Just kind of watering it in. Layering the color in. I don't want to do the back too heavy. Um, I kind of want to add some iridescence and some glitters to the back right now in a moment. So I'm going to keep the color that I'm putting on super light. It's super watered down. It is just. A mixture, kind of going back and forth of a mix between two different types of blues and a gray. Like a cool, cool gray. It has blue tones to it. So if you were, um, if you bought those gouache paints when they came out and we... Posted the deal up on the page. Hi, honey. Let me know what you think of them. Hopefully this video helps you if, if you've been in a rut with them, with painting with them. Look at my nutcracker. Looks really nice. It says that my video is going to get blocked because it contains music. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me lower this. How does it know? I don't know. Facebook just knows. It's listening to me. Okay, so turn to them. Turn to the music down. Facebook just wants to suck the fun out of it. And then I'm left alone talking to myself in my kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna wait for that to dry up a little bit. The pants down here, they look a little bit like a magenta dark red color so I'm gonna use this pretty rose color off of that set 
And then I'm going to be mixing it with um, that blue that I've been using, the dark blue. Where is it? This one. Yeah, they go on sale on Amazon. I want to say like at least once a month. And I got this set for like 11 bucks, and it is my favorite paints that I have gotten. Comes with 24 colors, and they are awesome. So I'm gonna kind of mix that blue and that fuchsia, and I'm gonna create some like purple blue pants. Oh my god, Shelly, if you watch this, I almost went to Facebook jail. I was playing music. <laughs> I'm going to join the club of anybody that's gone to Facebook jail. Has anybody ever been in Facebook jail? I have not. But I heard that they're super like, duh, about things. Okay, so we're just filling that in. Honestly, I'm probably going to bring that down more. Not probably. I, I am going to bring this down more. So that it's uh, longer. So my paint keeps going in this crack, so I need to fix that. I'll wait for it to dry a little bit. He is a super long nutcracker. I um should have measured it out a little bit better, but it's okay. I'm going to wait for this to dry so that I can uh add a little bit more color and a little bit more blending to it. Because right now it's too wet for me to do anything with it. Okay, and then I almost forgot to add the little shimmery reflection here. And here. And then we're going to do the drumsticks that he's holding. Oh my god, too thick. My husband is texting me, hold on. Let me make sure that. He's just asking me for the password to the Wi-Fi, which I don't know why. <laughs> That's okay. He can live without it for a little bit longer. I'm almost done with this. Every time I say that, I end up taking like another 45 minutes. So I apologize in advance. And add a little bit of shading there. And then I'm going to grab that gold with some brown and just mix it in. Do the little drum balls up here. I'm gonna grab, where is it? My fine liner. And I'm gonna go in with some white up at the top. And this time I'm gonna use some acrylic paint. It's like a little lint. And just kind of solidify that beard so that it has several different shades of black, gray, white tones, and it's not just a flat beard. And then we're also going to do his hair. 
What do you guys think? Should I keep his wild bird feather hair? Or should I do this hair? I was kind of leaning more towards this hair because I flipped the crown from this one to this one. Um, so I don't know. Should I do the bird feather hair? Let me know. There's only three of you watching, so you guys are the ones that are going to decide. Decide this Nutcracker's hair. Feather or short and spoofy. And then I'm going to grab some black to kind of separate this from the background. Outline it lightly over here. And I'm gonna also go back over here and keep darkening this skirt pant line up. And then just to kind of try to make it blend a little bit, I'm going to keep tapping it in. Tap, tap, tap. Where did this white come from? That gave it a weird texture. The feathery look. Tammy says the feather look. Okay. Tammy's the only one that voted, so girl, this one's on you. <laughs> it is your call. And Tammy says feather look. So let's do that. We are going to start with like a gray. I'm going to add more to my palette because I'm already out. And we're going to do that first. Just gonna do some swishes. I'm still using that big um, fat brush that I used for the background. You know what? I'm lying. I am lying. I'm gonna do the background first. Where is my iridescent colors? Hold on just a second. Let me grab So another Diana buy is these um, Arteza iridescent colors. They are amazing. I talk about them almost every life because they're my favorite. I'm gonna use this uh, royal purple and fairy tale blue. So just gonna go back and forth on those two colors. Honestly, probably just gonna use the purple. I'm gonna grab some. I don't know if you guys can see, but on the Santorini, you can, even with the, like, look over here. Even with the paint on top of it, you can still see the shimmer of the color underneath, even on the black over here. Can you guys see that? I love these. If you haven't ordered Santorinis yet, you need to, because they are beautiful. I'm just going to add some water to the paint, and then... Have at it, kind of just glaze on top of it, like um, not really going in too heavy with it, just brushing it here and there, giving it some shimmer underneath. Sound on nasally. Just adding water to it. that it's like a, a watercolor metallic. Yeah, I think that the purple will complement the blue. And bring that around. Oh, 
Okay. I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to try to add some white to this side. Because remember the light is coming in this way. So this side should be technically darker than this side. So I'm going to go in a little bit heavier with the paint background over here. And then I'm going to use the white. Where is it? This playful, it says playful pink, but it's white. It has like a white um, base and then the iridescence on it is pink. Just lighten it up a little bit, even if that means taking out the bottom color while it's still wet. I need a thicker brush. Always got to be mindful of the direction that your light plays on your um, paintings. This makes a huge difference. Again, I'm not a pro, so take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Okay. So here we have lighter to darker. Almost done, guys. Um, and then I'm going to kind of... This pant line has like it's like a purple tone but not purple if that makes sense so i'm gonna try to darken the pants up a little bit and try to find the right color to work with because this was not this was not it i think i'm gonna try to do some what is this color burnt burnt sienna with the rose color so i'm using these two I'm using these two colors together in case you are trying to color match to give it like a, a deeper color. And then I'm gonna also go in with that um, Prussian blue, try to darken it up. This messy paint, I'm a messy painter. Too much. Go in, mix, mix, mix your color. Mix it with some blue. I didn't mix it with enough of the rose. And darken it up like it is in the photo. And just tap it. I don't like the way that this left like a little texture, but. I'm going to probably just end up leaving it. And then uh, we're going to move on to the feather hair, which I'm going to use the brush that I just tossed down. Rinse it off and go in with your gray. Start kind of giving him some wild looking hair. We want to show one feather up here. And we're going to do not so much gray on this side, just a bit, just for like the back shadowing. Because it's mostly going to be white. I'm going to dry that off really good. Lightly, very, very, very lightly, like barely touching it, try to blend this color so that it doesn't end up drying so blotchy. Probably do that with a flatter dryer brush. Try new techniques out. This is a dry brush, it's just flat. 
And I'm just using it to kind of sponge the colors together so that it doesn't end up drying like this black and blue where you can see like the little tap marks. I'm just very, very lightly tapping it in from the top so that it um, doesn't splotch and it just blends kind of smoother. Since these paints are very much like watercolors, sometimes adding too much water is like, ugh. I'm gonna add some blue and some black, just happen from the top. No water. Tap and blend, tap and blend. And that erases some of the blotchiness. Yay! Hey for learning how to fix mistakes. Remember this brush is dry. With the exception of the paint on it. Okay. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Almost done. <clears throat> and then I'm going to grab... A thinner, round, like pointy brush, and I'm gonna go in with my white. I'm gonna just kind of feather up here, and then just add some, a couple brush strokes on this side, not too many, because this is, remember, this is the shadows. So, do you guys see where my black in the back can still show through the gray? I'm gonna try to paint my strokes over that. So that it kind of covers it up. And um, it's still like minimal brush strokes over here on the shadow side of the face. Add a little bit of water so it glides on smoother. And then towards the outer layer here, I'm going to add some more white. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here. Oh my god, my device has 5% battery. I guess it's kind of good that I'm almost done. If one thing is not running out of battery, it's the other. <laughs> so I'm for sure going to go in strong here with the white. Feather it out. <gasps> Too much. I'm going to start from here, and then I'm going to kind of just pay attention to the direction of the, the shape of the head so that I can start pointing down and out. And again, I'm trying to cover this line where the black meets the gray. And then I'm going to grab some water so that it glides out smoother. Glidey right now. I'm gonna go back, rinse this brush off, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of black and just that white is still wet, so I'm gonna take it from an angle and kind of just. Grab the black and bring it out. And that's how you're going to blend out the hairline with the hair. Wipe and blend, wipe and blend. Grabbing the black. Bringing it down to work with you, not against you. And I need to add a little bit more. And just a lot of uh, wiping and blending. Gonna shape the direction that the black is coming from. My brush has, um, I wanna say like not a lot of water, but it has a little bit enough to get the paints activated and get them 
like easy to work with. And that's it. We're just going to blend this hairline out. And then I'm going to undertone some some parts of the hair here. It's too much. It's too dark. It's too defined. I kind of want it like a light gray. Because I don't want it to just be white. I want it to have like some strands of dark. This is going to look so pretty once it's like sealed in resin. I'm over here tooting my owner. It's going to look so pretty. <laughs> See, this black is too, too thick, so I'm going to add some white. This hair's a little funky, but it works. It's not exactly like the picture, but, I mean, nothing ever is like the original, unless you're, like, super almighty powerful and the world's best painter, but alas, I am not. Add some white to the little uh, stashes up here. And I don't know. I feel like I'm going to call it done, but I don't because I feel like he's just like very blah there. I kind of want to add some shading over here to the side so that he's not so like just there. So I'm going to grab some blue and some black and anything else that stuck while I was... Trying to get some paint. I'm going to shadow out here. Just a little bit. Not too much. Nothing too crazy. Um, should I add some magic sparkles like dancing around him? What do you guys think? So this is with the iridescent paints. They just pretty much give it like a little extra glittery shine, sparkle. Um, what else? I feel like that's it. Maybe add like a little bit of darker color so that um, he pops out from the middle. I'm gonna grab this brush and then what color should I do? Maybe like a teal. No, like an emerald green. I feel like that's what I'm going to end up doing with some blue, like an aqua blue green. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe going a little bit darker with it. Learning some blue green. Wiping and blending. What the heck, let's bring this color out too. Gonna get crazy with it. How Bob Ross says. Blue green. Blend it by drying off. Just kind of tapping it around towards the top. We don't really have a plan with it, just kind of going with the flow. Darkening it up around the bottom portion of it. Heck, even adding some magenta to it. Honestly, just grabbing colors off the palette that I already worked with so that it um, sort of all comes together. Just a lot of patting and drying and blending. Ooh, that green and uh, magenta look really pretty. 
Okay, my tablet has officially died, so we are on our own. <laughs> but the good part is, is that this is mostly done for reference. Um, yeah. The uh, last thing that I would do is just um, probably do like a little, because this is, this to me, I don't like this. I don't like that it's just like a super long skirt. The legs are too long. Like, I'm sure that this is probably where they part. So I would do like a whole bunch of um, like white sparkles kind of like how I did it on the Dumbo rock. Let me see. Show you guys. So what I like to do on these paintings that are supposed to be like magical is I'll add like a string of just pretty little um stars I guess with some glitter so that when you seal it it's like it follows the line. So that's what we are going to do. With this painting, I told you guys, I said that I was gonna almost be done and I lied. I'm just kidding, guys, this, is, this will be really fast. So I'm gonna grab um, this super pointy number three paintbrush that I've been using for most of it. And I'm just gonna honestly dot a lot of little, little dots, kind of try to make them circular. Um, I could also use a dotting tool if you want to use that. I've been trying to stay away from them though because they leave the little paint like um sticking out and like a little little dot and that sticks out when I seal with resin so I'm trying to use my paintbrush more. Just going to do different sizes. Use your big dot and then use the rest of the paint around. Like the less paint that your paintbrush is losing, the more um, variety and size you're going to get for your dots. So that's what I do is I just dot around. Hopefully somebody tries this out. I really would love to see somebody just follow the step by step. I'm going to add different size dots. See how that blue like came through the white? Not a perfect dot. It's okay. Just different sizes. Yeah, at the beginning I'll start with like a picture or whatever and then it kind of just turns into I don't know making it your own or trying to make it your own sometimes I'm the type of person that I need to like look at something to paint I'm not creating a creative enough to just like um come come up with something Okay, and then once your little dots are done, your different size dots, you grab a uh, like super fine liner uh, and just you create your stars. So like my favorite star to do is the little cross. You're going to do your little plus sign. Uh, the little plus thingy is going to go towards the top, kind of just do that. Fill in the little thing there. And maybe do a little, a couple little pound key, not pound key, but like the little asterisk. You don't have to be perfect, but do a couple more of these little crisscross stars. I'm having to look at something and do so much better. Yeah, I can't, I can't for the life of me be creative, man. There is this uh, art contest that I really wanted to join and it ends, um, when does it end? I think it ends like December 24th. And then I was like, wait, I'm not creative enough. Okay. And they don't have to be perfect. Just, you know, 
You want to add the little extra, extra ones here. Maybe add some extra ones here. A little crisscross. Little asterisk. You want to do just a little blob too. That's okay. It could be like a super shiny little fairy dust. Just a little blob. And a little crisscross here. And then the last and final step would be to grab some glitter, whatever type of glitter you like. If you like the folk art, the holographic, that works. This one is one of my favorites. Um, but I'm like, it's empty. So I'm going to use the other one that I just had. Diana, always looking for paints. Okay, so it's this one. They're actually two different, two different types because this one goes from purple blue to green, and this one goes from uh, red, violet, blue. So this one's not empty. So I'll probably use this one. And uh, this is also a favorite. I just don't like that it comes out like way too chunky. But um, like with maybe two to three layers of resin. Uh, it should be like a smooth finish, but uh, I try to avoid using this one, though it is a really, really beautiful glitter. So I'm going to use this one, the Dragonfly Glaze, even though it's not like the preferred colors that I like. It's still a really beautiful glitter. Actually, I still have a little bit of this, this one left from my Dumbo Rock, so let's try that. I'm just going to grab a different brush. Um clean it's got some water in it and i am going to put some water in here this just tap it in grab some glitter on there and then just gonna kind of tap in so that i don't bring the paint like down with me does that make sense just add water and I am taking the glitter out so that it's not like a still um, stream of glitter kind of just tapped in. Because when you resin it, you'll be able to see exactly where the glitter is. So you want to make sure that it kind of like branches out really smoothly, very... Oops, I'm picking up the paint. Uh, matches pretty smooth with the rest of the painting. And tap it with my finger. And that is all, folks. I am officially done. So when you look at it in the light, it's going to shimmer around the areas where we've added the glitter. And that is our finished product, a nutcracker. This was, thanks to Vanessa, she was the first one to um, suggest it. Uh, as a painting tonight, a paint step by step, and then you just wanna always send me stuff with my first initial and my last name. Oh my god, I can't. Right. D. Gibson. Ta da! Okay, guys, I hope you guys try it out. I hope that i didn't i don't even know how long i've been live for probably way more than like an hour and a half but i appreciate you guys if you watched if you didn't stick through the whole thing that's cool too um i know it's a super long video and i hope that you guys you know if you try it out let me know tag me excuse me and yeah i'll show you guys the finished product once i seal it which i'll probably do tomorrow because i still i want to paint something else tonight um, that I'm working on that I've been wanting to paint for a while So let me know and I hope you guys have a good night and a safe Saturday night if you guys are out party hardy um, Safe Sunday, and I will see you guys soon